Hello, I'm Tim Cockrell from Wise Media, and I'm here with uh, Heinz Artmann from Artline Project, who I understand was yes. originally your company, and you're now a consultant to that. Um, we're interested to speak to you today about something that perhaps is missed or that people don't really think about in terms of setting up the production of an MRTD for a government, whether it's a passport or an ID card. I understand where, where your um, expertise comes in is, is that you can actually consult on the bigger picture rather than just the individual elements that a government might need. Could you expand on this? Yes, I can do that. Uh, first of all, okay, I'm working almost 45 years in the graphic art industry, so I have some background in security printing also, where I'm working almost 30 years meanwhile. Mm -hmm. And the company Artline was established in 1992. So, and we started actually establishing printing houses for governments. Mm -hmm. And we found out that machine manufacturers and supplier, they are looking very much to their own equipment. And we are working as a general, well, what would I say as a contractor, but as a general consultant and an engineering office, what is the really need for that particular case and what the government wants to have. And uh, so we are looking from the designing department up to the finishing and fully concentrating on technology. And together with the customer, we are looking for the best possible equipment. Maybe he is using some equipment he has already, maybe he needs some new equipment, whatever. So we offer the whole entire technology chain, the production he needs for his MRTDs, either ID cards, passports, documents, postal stamps, whatever. Mm -hmm. Why is it, um, do you, in your view, why is it, it, it preferable perhaps for a government to go to someone like yourself to, to, to get a picture rather than go direct to some of the big um, ID card providers have a sort of end-to-end -end solution which one yeah. would assume these days governments could just go... go Very to. often people ask me this question, yeah. okay, and... Yeah. Uh, the ID card providers, uh, the big players in this world, they want to, of course, they want to sell their products. Mm. I go the other way and say to the customer, why are you not producing yourself? Why are you not establishing a smaller or larger printing house? Maybe there is a government printer already existing and we uh, extend them to make also security documents or other uh, documents. Mm -hmm. So we concentrate on those who are interested to make local manufacturing plants for these type of products and that can be then in a cooperation with a larger player because we are not looking in the you know, IT environment like the data enrollment, database, mm -hmm. the IT infrastructure. We are fully concentrate on the manufacturing and choose the best possible equipment for that particular product mm -hmm. the customer has in mind. Because mm -hmm. in the old days I remember in the financial card industry before the, the whole smart ID card concept came into being. Um, there was there were the two things either they, the banks did it directly or they and they had their own card plan or they had bureau services bureau services yeah. and what you're sort of proposing here or what you're obviously running is, is the banking is sector a is a little bit special thing. because uh, for our area the high security printing where we are looking at the banking sure. card is from the printing point of view yeah. not the high security Absolutely, document yeah. okay yeah. We are looking for the national ID cards, we are looking for the e-passports, mm -hmm. we are looking for the inlay manufacturing, we are looking for high secure documents actually. And what we are going is uh, to look around who is interested in local production, mm -hmm. uh, repeat this again, and accordingly we look for the best possible technology. Mm -hmm. So we are not the um, systems provider from the whole system, we are looking yeah. again production. Okay. And are you finding that governments are... Oh, we have quite a lot of customers yeah, meanwhile and actually from the history of my company we started um, in the uh, former Soviet Union actually in 92 okay. when the Soviet Union was breaking down and a lot of new countries came up and that was the starting point of the company to establish printing houses in those new countries okay. actually. From that we are learning that very much and today they are still our customers. They are moving now in e-passport, in e-ID cards and these type of things. Okay. So we follow our customers. And if they need to build something from scratch or they decide, no decide do you get involved in this as well? Yes, I mean, we are do there regulations that you need to adhere to? Yeah, we yeah. do such a project in the moment in a certain country which we cannot disclose yet. 
It is from scratch, a whole new government printing house from scratch. We do the whole planning work from the technology, cooperate with the architect people to make all the um, investigation in the ground and whatever is needed. We do this at the moment. And what regulations do you need to get go through to allow this to... The regulations, to we happen. have to follow the local regulation of this particular country, of course, if there are some regulations. Sure. <laughs> okay. And uh, we are looking maybe for the culture, we are looking for, for the building side. But what we as Artliner, we are looking first of all in the technology which fits for that particular country or what fits for this particular product the yeah. country has in mind. Mm. Okay. This right. is what we do. Mm. Interesting. Well, thanks very much for talking to me. With today. pleasure. Thank you very Thank much. You.